when I bought my Century, I think I was one of the very first uh, people who, who, who bought it when it first came out. I'm a geek and I'm a tech junkie. So, but people asked me back then, because there were so many other options that, that a lot of the pilots already had and they were using it with for flight. I, I pointed out, I said that uh, none of those have a carbon monoxide monitor. And that was the number one reason I got it. A uh, student of mine, he purchased a Cessna 210. Uh, and it wasn't long after we had taken off. And all of a sudden, I saw this notification on my screen that I'd never seen before. And it showed uh, carbon monoxide and the amount of it. And then also the alarm uh was going off on the sentry, something I'd never heard before. So I kind of uh, slightly opened the uh, my passenger, my right side window and held it open for a while. And then the alarm went off, the alarm stopped and the notification went away. Um, and then I uh, closed the window and, and boy, about maybe about five minutes later, it did it again. So uh, that was it. We we opened the window and I told the uh, the student to head back to Van Nuys. Afterwards, we found out that some work had been done on the plane. Some of the panels underneath were not sealed, and carbon monoxide from from exhaust was coming into the cabin. It doesn't smell. It doesn't have a color. I have to tell you, there was no no sign of it. If if we didn't have our Sentry uh, connected to my iPad and for flight, we would never know. I'm, I'm really glad we uh, we had this, and I'm glad it worked, and I'm glad it told us how much and I'm, I'm super glad it told us what it wasn't a factor anymore. Yeah, I love my century goes everywhere with me.